It's sketchbook time, and I really don't want to scare you with this one. Please don't be scared. We're going to try lesson 61. We're going to try doing some watercolor shading. So this is how I do it. Now, this is my sketch. Please don't be intimidated. It's I do this for a living, so my sketch is going to look different than yours, but it's okay because it doesn't matter what the sketch is. The point of this lesson is how to shade in watercolor. You can do it lots of ways, but this is how I do it, okay? So I'm picking pink, but the fun of watercolors, you can pick any color you want. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at the image that you're using as your reference, and you're going to pick the medium tones. So not the darkest shadows and not the lightest shadows, the kind of middle of the rain road tones. And you're gonna do them in this one color. So that's what I'm doing here, like under the eye, you know, the cheekbone, that's what it looks like. So that's the medium tones on this painting looks pretty weird huh and then you go in with a darker color again it can be any color like I'm using a brown here because for the image that I'm working with it's going to look really good because she's got blonde hair but you can do any color and you just kind of go over the darker things and then this last one I'm using a deep royal blue and it's it's like I only do her eyebrows, her eyes, and like a little bit around her face you can see and a couple of sparkles, but that's the darkest tone that I'm using on this painting. And then I'm going up and just sort of coloring her hair because it's a really pale blonde. So this would be the lightest tone that I'm using on this painting. I add some fluorescent orange sparkles and it's done. Try it!